You're on a diet? No, but it soon expire. So I said, let me just ease it off. I keep traveling with it all over the place. Oh. Talk to me about how you travel with hey. your handbag. Yes, it's about to expire. Hi guys. Hi everyone. Sorry for being late. You don't you don't travel with tuna in your travel bag? No, I surely don't. What are you talking about? Whoa. I travel with cheesy. I don't understand. Hi everyone, how are you? How are you? When Camilla doesn't provide food for us, this is what we do. Eat nastiness. Mm-hmm. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here for a full hour. Well, we're late today. Sorry, it's my fault. I couldn't get, I just, from this morning I couldn't get it together. I've just been, but we're still going to have fun, chronic and foolishness and eat tuna because Camilla is not here and because Tracy was late, there's no lady bee. So I'm sorry. You should have mm. seen the traffic on the road. Today's flavor would take my mind off of everything. Oh, Lady B, thank you. This one is great. Let me sit now. I can't believe it. Mm. It's calorie free. This is a... <laughs> I want calories. Mm. Hi, guys. Yes, thank you. So, we're going to the Barbie premiere later. We're going oh, my to gosh. Did you forget? I don't want to go without you. What am I wearing? I don't know. I'm, I'm going a slutty Barbie. I just find that's regular you though. Okay. So, uh huh. Alright. So, I want to know should I wear this wig or I was going to wear the blonde wig? You remember the blonde wig and it goes to the side? Mm hmm. I like this one though. You like this one? But the front of it. Yo, them going to kill me on when they post my picture. Why are it upstairs? I should not own off for I don't know how to pluck this kind of wig. The wig just start. Um. What kind of Barbie should I be? Maybe I should be spa day Barbie. Alright, so let me show you my options of dresses. Maybe I should be spa day Barbie. Oh no. Finally, that tool is done. Would you like a cheese trick to It's not done. Okay, Barbie options. Who's ready for the Barbie options? Who's ready for the Barbie options? Okay, so... Everybody says the pink wig. The pink wig? Okay. So we have... Just found out she could have been doing this while I was being late. No. So, okay guys. So we have first option. Money Barbie. You know? Alright, so Money Barbie. It's a corset with a thing. It's a, you know, this is Money Barbie, you know? Because, because I got it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and if you see me later out in here, any things, they're mine. So that's fine. Um, except for this one that I stole from Amanda Vaz, but you know, that's fine. Amanda Vaz, I still have your dress. It's mine now. I've had it for over two years. So this is a nice little number here. I don't know how come I said must have been going to a wedding. Or oh no, I've worn this to the NCB when they were um launching the black card. Thank you, Mr. Hilton. Swipe, swipe. Which will take you back to the money Barbie. Oh, these Barbies are all connected. Then we have this Barbie here. You know that style of bosom? Oh, wow, yeah. Right? This Barbie here. And then my favorite, slutty Barbie. Mm. So you need to sit, so I can't wear any panty. So which one is Amanda Vaz's dress? Amanda Vaz's dress was this one. Oh, this was just Amanda Vaz's dress. Oh. Amanda Vaz's dress Barbie, Money Barbie, Fashion Nova Barbie, Slutty Barbie. Slutty Barbie might just win. So Slutty Barbie needs a nipple cover. And I've had this for so long. Where am I going to wear that to? Where would I wear that to? Where would Slutty Barbie make a debut? Number three? Number three? I like money Barbie too. Fashion Nova? No guys, you have to see Slutty Barbie. No! Mm -mm. Money Barbie can wear it elsewhere. I like money no, Barbie. no. Fashion get I cannot believe. What? Tracy should wear the Amanda dress. I cannot <laughs> believe you. nobody's choosing Slutty Barbie. <laughs> Fashion Nova, but for a pink carpet or a red carpet, Fashion Nova is just so like, let me take you to dinner. I cannot believe you guys are not choosing Slutty Barbie. 
The Amanda dress? No, Amanda dress is so... I've worn that top premiere or something already. So why did you show people if you're going to fight out every single one? Because I want you to know that that's the one I'm wearing. With my tuna breath. Put them on. No, I have <coughs> other things to do today. All right, money, Barbie. Sean Paul equals Ken. Try on. Tracy says I can't try now. I want to try and slow to Barbie for you still. Slow to Barbie. That dress is so nice. I'm tired. You're tired? Mm -hmm. And then I have a, um, a pink <coughs> Barbie bag. I think I'm going to slow to Barbie. But I'm glad everybody likes Amanda's dress. They like Amanda's dress? Mm -hmm. So do you. I love Amanda's dress. I still have it. You won't give it back. All right, who's that? She, um, Miss Johnson. Sorry, Mike. Shella Johnson says, Slutty Barbie, me and you, girl. Well, what kind of, maybe I should go as Spade Barbie? I mean, just wear a pink dress and then you are a Barbie. You know, maybe I could go in a pink robe with like a mask on my face. No, you have to dress in pink and go in a dress. Chani K, I need your help. Barbie does things, you know. Yeah, Barbie does things, but this Barbie is premier Barbie. Chani K, I need your help because I'm Britney Lyons, so she never see. Okay, let's do this again. I really want to try and slutty Barbie. You know? All right, guys. We have Money Barbie. Right? Money Barbie. Then when you get Money Barbie, you get friends like Amanda Vaz Barbie. Don't let Amanda Vaz know we still have her dress, Barbie. Then you have, when you get friends and uh, don't know the money, you have to start shop on Fashion Nova Barbie. Okay? And then when all the money don't know, you have to go back to your roots and turn into Slutty Barbie. But this is, this is see-through. See -through. But the other side is lined. And then I have my pink Prada Barbie bag. Let okay. me see the pink Prada Barbie bag. Hi, Ken. Wanna go for a ride, Ken? Sure. Jump in. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Slutty Barbie Goodbye says the Drea, con Drea Duffy Conqueror. Chiny Key, which Barbie I must be? For well, everybody's saying Slutty Barbie now. Slutty Barbie, I think because I was holding it bad. Mm -hmm. Fashion Nova or Slutty Barbie? You mm -hmm. have to pull through. That's my fave. Um, so she said, nipple cover, what if the pump pump jump out? No man, the pump pump not jump out, you know. Mm -mm. Little Uku just stays where she is. Mm -hmm. And it's not a waity waity time of month, so I should be good to go. Because I don't want to, you're sitting down to watch movies, movie, so I get up and waity waity act up. Let me just take some tissues in my Prada Barbie bag. You would have to be the one to wipe it. Oh good, see waity waity tissues. <laughs> it's a dust, it's a dust bag. Boy, um, it's the prettiest no lie. It looks really good on so, and then it has like this little curve right here that you know this side of the dress looks like sweetheart and true, you know. We just and then I will just put back on this wig a little bit better and hope it don't slide off. No panty, you can't wear panty with that. Thank you, thank you, guys. Aren't the kids coming? I am no because I don't think Bar. I think Barbie is PG thirteen, you know. Supposed to dress shift? Well, slow to Barbie it is. <laughs> Question. Mm -hmm. What do you do if you have a friend that dresses bad? That you go with, like you're going out with her, but every time you're going out with her, she always looks bad. Like she looks tacky or she don't look finished or <clears throat> what do you do with a friend that dresses bad? Wow. You kind of like, be like, all right, well, come over and let's get dressed together. I'm mm -hmm. like, no girl, put on the pink top with that. Oh, yes. And then when she puts on something that you like more, just really act it up and be like, no girl, bar my jeans. Oh, wow. Body looks so nice like that. Look how you shaped out. You look really, really nice. That's how you should dress. The jeans on, on top is you. Mm -hmm. And just kind of work it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've had instances where our friends don't, you know, hit the nail on the head. Yes. Or Daniel with that one fuzzy blue top. Oh my gosh. But she looks so good in it. So every time she kept drawing for this blue fuzzy top, but she looks so nice in it. Daniel got everywhere one Christmas in that the blue fuzzy top. Everywhere. Everywhere. And we're like, Daniel, do you have any other clothes? She's like, why? I've worn mm. this a lot. I've never worn it before. Oh, it's, it's like, Daniel, it's all riggedy raggedy because you wear it so much. 
um, tell it like it is and suggest other options. True. Tracy, where are your feathered bangs? They grew out. Look how long my bangs are now. Tell her, say she look bad. How they grow out so quick? Yeah, they're, they're long. You haven't even had them. But yeah, but still feather them. Just well, I, I actually I'm having a bad day today. So, but they grew out. I need to cut them back. They grew out like about an inch now. Ask her to video call before to see what she's wearing. <laughs> I think I don't think that's a hurtful question, no. And as and like if he's your friend, like, girl, you not look good. Mm -mm, that does not look good. I find that if I was to say that to a friend, I don't find they'd be hurt. No, and I think that's the thing about friendships too. Like, you have to know in your friendships that you are gonna hear something. Oh, that's that, nice. Ali yeah. says, um, she's done. You don't want to try more, and then we pick. And if that doesn't work, I told her she looked like she can't breathe and sit, or it looks uncomfortable. Yeah, I think it's your friend. You should be honest. Yeah, I think there's things that you can be friend, be honest with your friends about, and that should just be the bias of your relationship. Like friendships can't always be like, oh ha ha ha. Like yeah. you have to be willing and open to hearing critique from your friends. You know. Yeah. Um, Nezara Robinson says it's your friend. Keep it one hundred. Totally agree. Yeah. Yep. 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 yep, yep. Joe, you have a pink headband. You're going overboard now. You're going over. I have on pink eyeshadow, five different pink. I have on pink glitter. Sean came in here while I was getting ready and I hadn't contoured yet. So he's just looking at me. And I was like, oh, you think I'm a look at going to the barber prayer later? He's like, you look a little dry, like very, like it's white. So I said, oh, I haven't contoured yet. He's like, oh, you know, you know, seal up the thing. I was like, no, I haven't sealed it up yet. He goes, oh, oh, I mean, you look good still, but you know, thing more, seal up. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll soon seal it up. Anyways, I want to um, present you with a gift. So every year we go down to Silver Sands, right? And we, Jody and I, have a photo shoot in which I take a million rocking pictures of Jody, which she has featured all over her Instagram. The fisherman by the boat, all of these pictures. And Jody takes literally one picture of me that looks good. Tracy, no. I'm just not, I'm not a good picture taker. So, you know, neither am I. Oh, come on, Trey. <laughs> You're an excellent picture taker, and I try it. I'm like, okay, Trey, this is what I got. Tell me which angles I need to work on and stuff. So anyway, every year we go for this um, photo shoot down in Silver Sands, and this year we got some outfits by Kaj, and Kaj is a Jamaican designer of swimsuits and resort wear. And so she asked if she we could if she could feature mm -hmm. her designs in our annual photo shoot. Let me see. Is the outfit from Amazon Joe? No, so actually my sister-in-law gave me this outfit. She said it was too much boobies for her, and I was like, pass it over. <laughs> Thank you for having Cash by Summer Jarrett Limited on your show. I hope you enjoy your custom bikini and silk crumper. We greatly appreciate it. Wow. You should write the same thing to me, I agree with Dex. Thank you for having... <laughs> <laughs> should write the same... It's okay, Sam, I still love you. Watch wrap up. Watch goodies. Watch business card. Very nice. All right. I like it. You're going to look like a mermaid. I like it. That's nice. That is nice. And this is a bikini bottom. All right. I like it with a scrunched up bottom. Let me see this. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. This is the front. Before you... All right. So, we, no, no, no. This is the front. Before you start to... I want to look at the quality of the swimsuit. No, it's fully lined. It's No, this is the front. Oh, this is really nice. You material. could wear it anyway. So, like, if I didn't want to show the top of my boobies, but it's very nice. It's very nicely made. And then we have a little. How's your pocket. fabric? Fabric is nice and soft. Oh, it's very thick fabric. Yeah. Mm. Don't kill me, Jody. Um, no. All right, answer that. Person. All right. Wow, this is this actually looks like one of those designs that came out for the um Trinidad costume. Oh. Remember? Mm -hmm. I got a um caftan or duster. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow, and it's not cut on the bias, but it's cut so that when I walk, it's going to flow. 
and one more little gifty poo here. Oh wow, and I got a super sexy silk romper. Wow, this is nice. Oh, hold on, it's a set. It's the pants. The pants go under the, oh, that's rich. That's real rich. I have to go on a, what do you call it, a yachit? Oh, and that will look nice with your one piece under it too. Thank you so much. Let's show the business card here. Nice so one. her styles are available at Swimfest, which is a store that I had already spoken to you guys about I a long like time Tracy ago. I Tracy found this swim store and she's like so obsessed with it. I swim am Fest. though. I am. Um, like I just love the fact that it's all Jamaican designers inside of this store. Um, so we will be doing our photo shoot in our cash designs. Cash by Summer Jarrett, that's the brand. Somebody's asking what is the brand. Let me pin them because she's been... The part with the peephole is in the back. Oh, okay. For, for Summer? But for the arm, um, yeah, for the for this full piece. The peephole here, this is in the back. Okay. So I have boobies in and then I cut out for the tummy. Okay. And okay. then it's a nice, like, Brazilian cut. Because I mean, I like when my bottom is too covered, you know. All right, so I pin them there, and this is the connect the connection. The collection is called Notorious. Okay, okay, and me, I got a nice little um, mermaid bikini <laughs> from the Nor Notorious collection. Oh, I like how the back ties. Yeah, back ties like this. And Ooh. Yeah, and then I got a little silk romper, which is very sexy. Very, very, very That's sexy. really nice. Yeah. Very sexy. This back and this is it's very soft. Very nice print. Thank you so much, Summer, from so, Cash, um, Cash Collections. So, you guys, this is at, available at Swim Fest right now. Um, Summer Dryer, you can follow her on Instagram as well. Cash by, by Summer Jarrett. Jarrett. She is there. You can link her. For custom made designs and you can also link her for whatever new collections that they will have at Swim Fest. And she will send you the same exact writing on the thank you card that she sent the two of us. Boy, you look easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thank you, it's fine. Look out for our um photo shoot in August, which we will be having in about a week. Yeah, it's already well it's almost August. So I saw a question earlier, how was our vacation? Because we've been like passing ships, eh? You went to New York and New Jersey and all of these places and kept my niece away from me. Oh, well, how much seen you guys since then? Mm-hmm. Well, I haven't had a show in two weeks. Have we had a show since Cayman Carnival? Yes, because it was very hot. Um, um, so I had a great time and we went to Philadelphia. And um, for those of you who have never been to Philadelphia before, it's really like a a family town. There's not much to there's not much to like. I would never be like, oh my gosh, I want to go back to Philadelphia. Like, there's not much to do. The shopping is really great. Um, Isn't that where Fort Dix prison is, where we had to go and visit Uncle? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not like it's not like a it's not like New York. It's definitely the suburbs, and. Um, it was cute, but as I said, like I wouldn't be like, oh, I have to go back to Philadelphia. But then we drove into New York, and um, that was really crazy because, you know, I think when you go to New York and you're a young person, I think the excitement of being there is one thing. But when I went to New York this time as a mom, all I could see was like the dirt, dirt yeah. the grime. And I didn't even want to get out of the car because I was like, I don't want Stevie to touch anything. And then coming from Jamaica, like just seeing a lot of the um people who are men dressing like women that was a very big shock to me because you know you see it on tv but when you actually see it in person like i was I, like this this is when i was like i want to I, like i was shook at i was like i want to go home now so um we went into the bathroom and i bust the bathroom door the women's bathroom door and i bust the bathroom door and standing there in the women's bathroom was a person who had a beard, had a short back and sides haircut, and then had breasts, had big breasts. And then 
their legs were hairy and that was very like <gasps> For me, because seeing it in person is totally different than it's seeing it on, <laughs> no, seeing the whole entire, yeah, 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 the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. entire thing is 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 different than when you see it on TV. On TV, you know, you're like, oh, it's so far fetched. But in person, it was like a little bit of a shock. And then because also I was in the bathroom, and cons you know, you usually go to the bathroom and considering it like a safe space or a private space, mm -hmm. it was very like abrupt for me because I was like oh is this a man and I was like wait I think it's a woman I, did I did I come into the women's bathroom is this a wrong bathroom and then I was like oh hold on we're in the we're in the age of like um what's the thing gender or we're in the age of gender battle like you know let me just be as polite as I can it was really a weird feeling for me um and that and then we went to and then we came home but that was it. That was so interesting. Can you imagine? Like you bust a woman's bathroom, and you can like, oh sorry, sorry, and you come out and you're like, no, it's the same. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it was very like, you know, and you realize that when things are happening in the United States, you know, because we're in Jamaica or the Caribbean, we follow the United States so closely. But then when you're actually there and you're living it, I realized how different things feel. You know, like I remember one time my girlfriend went to a um, she went to a. Korean bathhouse and so they were all naked there and it's women only in the Korean bathhouse mm -hmm. right but there was a transgender woman there so you can go naked or you can go in your robe but this person decided to go naked and so when my girlfriend opened her eyes she saw like a little penis but it was like a man who identified as a woman and she was like I was so I was so like shook because you're naked in this bath but like you don't expect to see like penises you know and yeah. it was just like a big shock and it was just like, oh, you know, so it just kind of like brought to light to me um, what's actually going on in the world. You yeah. Know? Somebody saying that they have gender neutral bathrooms at their school. I don't think it's being judgmental. It takes a little getting used to. I have a friend that transitioned and I'm still not used to calling them he because it, for 20 years of life, it was a she or she was a she, sorry. Um, it's not judgment. It's just her opinion and her experience. Yeah, um, I, don't, I, don't I, don't really I don't really it's care. I don't really care. that yeah. she's saying it's wrong. It's just that she's saying when it, I see it on TV it, and I'm like, oh, okay, it kind that's of startled her. And you then know? when I saw it in person, it was like, oh wow, this is actually like real. It's going yeah, on. Sorry, saying probably because where I live, it's all over. I think it's very different when you're sheltered. So I think. Tracy is sheltered from that because we don't see that a lot here in Jamaica. Yes, we see persons who are um, who are uh, g gay. Is it a woman? Anyway, so gender fluidity. It takes right. a minute to get used to when it's right in front right. of you. Okay. And I'm so glad to hear other people saying, yeah, it does take a minute to get to used to. Or other people saying, thanks for sharing this experience. I'm glad that you're not judging. It just takes some time to get used to. Because it made me feel like... You know, I want everybody to be happy in their own skin. No matter, like, what skin you're, you decide to present yourself in, I want you to be happy. It doesn't matter to me what you're doing in your personal life as long as you're happy and you're presenting kindness towards me. That's how I feel about the situation. But you don't realize, how, as Jody was saying, how sheltered you are until it's, like, right in front of your face, you know? Yeah. Where you bought the cup, Tracy? Um... Target. It's a man in the female bathroom. Immediate response was, what the fuck? I know. Here, there. Okay, okay. The top of this wig, I don't know. Somebody was saying they don't like, I don't love the wig either, but I do like that it's giving Barbie. Mm -hmm. And I think that in pictures and stuff on the red carpet, it won't look as, look, right here is fake. Let me see. I can't even pluck that. It's like a big glue bomb right there. Mm. But I could make my forehead... So do you know that my daughter is thinking husband, right? So we go to the hibachi, <laughs> to the hibachi, right? And the chef is like, you know, they always make up one bag of noise and kind of says, all right, guys, everybody has to say something about their wife. So Sean stand up mine and he's like, oh, I love my wife, blah, 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 blah. And then even though she has a five head, it's more to kiss. Do you know you sit with other people at the Hibachi? So there's Winsome Jason and the kids. There's me, Sean, and our kids. And then there's, I don't even remember where they're from, Ohio, Cleveland. I don't even know. And I, I mean, I was like, really? He's like, yeah, but it's, and we, um, even though you're going like, you know everything, because you have a big five head, it's more to kiss. Wow. Some way to pull down. How did the end of that night? <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, some of us laugh it off because there's nothing I can do about my five head. The more I pull the wig down, is the less eyebrow I get over here. And you know, the I think, says, I have the video. But bro, oh my gosh, thanks, Win. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Uh, uh. Oh my god, it's been a long time. I haven't joined you guys. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Jody. Hey, girl, what's up? Win some post the video. Vicky just logged on. Oh my god. Yes, all right. Or I could try on this wig. I don't know. With this, with this wig, I loved how this looked on me. You don't remember this wig? Um. No. You remember this week? Anyways, so talking about going to dinner with other people, I was like, I was watching Instagram the other day and um, I was scrolling through and there was this woman and she had invited people out for her birthday dinner and then the bill came and she had expected everybody to pay for her. And then there was a big fight oh, yeah. at the birthday dinner because they were like, I don't know what happened with the bill, but there was a big fight at the birthday dinner. And I was like, imagine the nerve of people expecting you to pay for them but i also think too like usually when you invite when you invite someone to dinner i'm going to try it on when you invite someone to dinner like that means that you're paying or it, i guess she assumed it was my birthday so you're going to pay for it for so me. definitely when you invite someone to dinner the assumption is on you to pay so if i say to you hey um hey samantha gm I'm inviting you out for lunch, then it's like, I'm inviting you, I should pay. But then I'll say something like, um, I can't, uh, let's go out to lunch together. Or, there's a way to say, like if I say, hey Jody, let's I go out I think if you lunch. go to lunch with your girlfriend, your, and you invite your girlfriend to lunch, it's two girlfriends, so we know we're splitting the bill. Yeah. I guess because it was her birthday, she was like, there's no way you can expect me to pay for my birthday, I'm the birthday girl. But I think that that's very rude of you to expect people to pay for you. You don't find? She wanted them to split the bill and they wanted them to pay for their order. She had an issue and started a fight. Lol. Ridiculous. Yeah, and then I, that's another thing. Like, I just... I got stuck paying some hefty bill one time because all I had was a salad and everybody else had, like, champagne and drinks and all of that. And I got stuck paying for so much of their food. But, um... So this needs a little heat because I clearly stored it wrong. You don't remember this was tucked under? The time I wore this, this, <gasps> this needs a little heat. I hate you. This was one of my favorite wigs. I can add heat. <laughs> I hate you. It just needs... I love this wig. <laughs> it just it, needs what, jo? It just needs a little heat oh. and I would curl this on. You guys don't remember this wig? And oh. I curled it under like this. Oh. I put it down and I was like, wow. Haters. I was not Haters. Oh, yeah. I was not expecting that. I'm a little shook at my All right, so that way. Way. I can't stand you. Where's my wig box? Johnny! There's another blonde one here somewhere. I can't stand You know, I'm not even feeling good today. I'm not even feeling good. I'm not even feeling good. My eyes just are bothering me. It just me. needs some heat. Oh, no, 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 no. I have on my makeup already and I have not done my hair. My hair is under here. Like, I just washed it yesterday and left it. So, no, no, no natural hair. And I feel like for a premiere, for a Barbie premiere, I feel like I could do a little something. I can't bother wet back up my hair right now. We are wearing a wig. We're going to find out the wig we're going to do. I wear an updo all the time. I wanted to do something different. It's Barbie. Thank you. Who said just flat iron? Anyway, it can just flat iron. We're good to go. What else you got? <laughs> Look like Joan Rivers. Yes, you wash your little. All right, let's see. I'm thinking like, okay, remember we're slutty Barbie? Oh, gosh. These things that have this lace are so intimidating, man. All right, let me put back on my fashion cap. Do the pink one and fix the front part. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to fix it. It is like one, it's like a big glue glob. Alibra says I must be a good sister and help you out. Alibra, me can't help out them. Tracy, don't know how to, 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 to style no wig. This, this synth these are these aren't expensive wigs. These are cheap old like Amazon wigs. Give me my fucking wig. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with not Excuse really. Excuse me. Okay. No problem. I'm not paying for your dinner either. 
So does this go under my chin? Oh no, this goes to the back of it. Thought it was like a... <laughs> what was that? I don't know, why is there a strap in here? Because it just keeps it on. The head the strap goes over and under here. You have to pull the strap down too. <sighs> All right, here comes Cassandra. Riding on her big fat pony. I think this is for a smaller headed girl, not a five header. I turn on and look at you and you laugh, I'm going to knock you out. I think this wig is what. Oh, that's interesting. It's just something different. You don't like to wear yeah. wigs for your husband. Oh, well, everyone was going on that ear hose, but wigs for your husband. And tonight in Pennsylvania, that's a vibe. I would like to speak to your manager. That's a vibe. Yeah, but I don't think this is slutty Barbie. This more is like housewife Barbie. Like, Definitely housewife. Oh my God, I need to go to Whole Foods. Ugh. Um, I think I think the pink wig for slutty Barbie. The color actually suits you? Let me try that one then. Why are they all out of the color? <laughs> because this is 1B or blonde 1B or whatever. It just comes like that. They're all from the same page. Let me see. Let me try one on. I need to, I'm, I'm supposed to be going to the premiere too. Nobody cares about me. Karen vibes. Agreed. Nobody. What? Who is that? Why would you say that about me? That is not right. You should, you, I'm going to film you. I'm going to film you. Uh -oh. Jordy wants me to try on this, the ugly wig. This one? No, but this would not go with housewife. <laughs> All right, you know what? There's another time on the show. <laughs> I'm going to. All right, let me just take this off. I can't take like... anybody seriously. <laughs> I'm have a weak fashion show. That that wig can take heat, so you can put a little heat on it. This wig can take a garbage minute. Like... No, it can take heat. <laughs> I just fold it back down. I stored it really bad. I hate you. That's one of my. Fa I love that look. I took a picture in that wig, and it was my WhatsApp picture. Oh, I can't. Oh, Papa, Papa Jesus, no idea. Musa. You can't just wear them out the box. You have to style them. All right, let's Wait. look for another one. All right, let's look for another one. That that wig took me out. <laughs> All right. Wait. Here, what do we have here? All right, I don't know what we have here, but I also wanted to talk to you guys about some other stuff. <sighs> well, that that is old news now. Did you guys see the video of um, Daniela Hamsley showing her boobs after winning her boxing match? And then she's been banned for all banned from all all boxing things for what? Yeah, she, like she won her match and then she, she she like flipped her and showed her boobs and then so she, she's been banned. What do you guys think about that? I think that she should be banned. You know, people take things too far. Like I feel like this is an era of like people always like trying to rock the boat you know like but this is a family event why are you showing your breasts at a family event what size are these i just don't think all right here we go And in other new, oh my god, I look like Nandy. But this one has more of like a natural hairline thing going on. Mm -hmm. But this is not Barbie. This is more like Barbie's granny. Yeah. Oh my god, no, I look like my mother. Look at the little curls. Jody, get here right now. Get here. You do look like Barbie. I told you not to do that to your sister. You don't listen to me, child. You don't listen in the name of. Jesus, you children are stressing me out. 
backside. I'm going to have some tea and talk to the Lord. You children are just driving me crazy. You're going to give me grace and then I'm going to use more head and shoulders and take it out. Rude child, rude. You're insolent, Jody. Insolent. She used to tell you insolent. She used to use big words on me. Like words, I'm like, why can't I just be rude? Insolent. Disobedient. I'm disappointed in you, Jody. Jody Marie Stewart. I just don't think wigs are my thing. I just don't think you put it on properly. Gordon, did you hear what the child did at school today? G Gordon, you're not listening. Gordon. Why are you making mommy so horrible? <laughs> she was always cussing me. <laughs> Jody, come with me to church. She should have forced that one. <laughs> And I, I yeah, will always love you. I look like that thing from Star Wars. Um, what are you doing to yourself <laughs> over there? <laughs> I mean, I put on the wig. And I, yeah, yeah will, will always love you. I feel like I feel like a nun. Like this is my habit. You remember when mommy just Brazilian her hair? This is exactly how she looked. Oh, Tracy, thank you. I feel so pretty. Wow. Stop teasing my mother. I'm not teasing her. I've, I've used captions. You're too bad. You you're backside. You're backside. <laughs> you know what you see? Lord, my children, you see? They just give me trouble. They give me hell, Lord Jesus. But I love them. I love them, Lord. I love them. I love them. <laughs> oh, Gordon. Stop it! Mommy doesn't sound like an uptown bro. It has a British accent. Oh, I can't catch a British right now. You can't catch a British? No, I can't catch a British, British right now. The black one? Wait, this one, no. This one, this is not going to look good with slutty Barbie dress. I'm going with the pink one. Yes, the pink one. The, the pink, pink one. one. The pink one. The pink the, one. Wait, where's my stocking cap? <laughs> <laughs> Who wanted me to wear my natural hair? <laughs> this this was garret carpet. <laughs> this was garret carpet. <laughs> no sir. Alright, let me try the blonde one Tracy just had on. Boy. You know man, you guys are you guys are giving me a headache. All this laughing. Then you could never then you could never wear the wig because when I put on the wig now, you put on the wig band. Jeez on peace. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's harsh. All right, wait, this was in here. I don't even know how to pack all of this back up. I feel like if you bought one nice wig with all of the money you spent on all these synthetic wigs, your life would be better. So I bought a wig at Naturally Lace, but then I bought it because I, I wanted to support her. And then I didn't pick it up because I was like, oh, I'm not going to wear this for now because I'm always at the gym. So I didn't go and pick it up. And then COVID came. And then now it's like, um, Trish can't find it. And I can't like blame her because it's been there for over two years. Oh dear. Yeah, I know. And the wig was not cheap. Oh dear. I know. Don't know what to tell you. I know I should have gone and picked it up. And she hasn't cussed me off, you know. But I keep asking, well, I don't keep, but I've asked her once or twice. I was like, you think I could get another wig? <sighs> That's exactly why she don't want me down there in her chair. Because she doesn't cut people's hair and imagine you going to sit down with your JC. I, we are not going to talk about Jerry Curl anymore because I have my wigs. I have my wigs. Bobby Boss. <laughs> That's the name of it? Bobby, Bobby Boss. Boss. I right. have my Bobby Boss right here. Don't mess with me. Okay. All right. All right. So anyway, I wanted to ask you guys something. Why do people follow other people's pages that they don't like? Like you don't like somebody but you follow their page. Like why you bother? Like if you don't like somebody then just don't like them. Don't like them and leave them alone. Don't like them. You don't need to follow their page and see what they're doing. You don't need to comment but on yeah, their Yeah, that things. will aggravate your spirit. If you don't like them, why you want to see them for? That's what I said. Like if you don't like seeing her stuff then just don't look on them. Don't follow her. Oh, I'm liking this. Mmm. Oh, this is thick. She thick. She thick, thick. You have this, a weak head, though. This one is Angela. That look good on you. Thanks. <laughs> Hi. How are you? That look good on you. 
Absolutely not. That's tacky. What, the wig? No, no, no. When you follow people oh, on the page. Oh. It's a sickness. They have to watch what they do to try one up them to have something to complain about. Yeah, Ali Bird, I totally agree with that. It's like, it's weird. Like, there was this person, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but I think it was a woman. And then every time I posted something, she would, she would like, send me a DM being like, why are you wearing skimpy things like that on the road? Your body is a temple. Like, oh, you showed me that message. Yeah, and I was like, what? You, what? Like, traveling, traveling. It's like, first of all, she was replying to a car of you in a carnival picture. And I'm like, what would you like us to wear to carnival? Like, and I'm not even like, oh, it's our culture. It's my choice of what I want to wear. And I can wear whatever I want at any time that I want. But if you don't like me seeing me in a carnival costume, then, then come don't, off my page. Yeah, don't, don't like follow me. I thought it was so weird. This is nice, but this one is too like, like a real, like a real premiere. Not like a Barbie premiere. Like Barbie must be pink. No, we need the pink one. How do I fix the front of the pink one? I like the pink one. I like the pink one too, but the pink one right here won't pluck. I don't think it can pluck. It can't pluck. Alright, so I'll just take my pictures like this. Or maybe you could just put like a diamond thing down the middle. That's how you're gonna pull them? Yeah. Because then they wouldn't see this glob right here. Because they sewed it like. Look at this. They sewed it like flipping it over. That's so ridiculous. Give it bangs. Tess, we ain't here dressing the wigs today, okay? No, I'm not cutting the wig. You don't hear it's from Amazon. No you can't cut like Amazon it. bangs, no. Amazon wigs. No. Jody, look back down. What's happening? I don't know. A headband. Jody says maybe a headband. headband. I don't find a headband would go with slutty Barbies. Slutty Barbies don't wear headbands. I just find it's going to have to go with the thing. Everybody knows it's a wig. Everybody knows it's a wig, so what they're going right under there is a wig shall wear. Call yes. TC to fix your wig for you. I love TC. I don't think TC can fix this still. Because look how they, they, they bled like... Alright, I'm wearing this. It's true. It's not like people are going to be like, wow. No, but you know they're like, girl, that ain't melted into your head. Like, I know it's not melted into my head. I'm not an avid wig wearer. Although by the collection that you have, <laughs> you should be. I have quite a, quite a collection here. All right, all right. Jeez. Try a side part. The part cast. I don't think the, these wigs aren't made to part, you know. They're cheap wigs. Everybody's expecting you to have some nice expensive wigs. It won't do it. <laughs> so what are you wearing, Tracy? I don't know if I can make it. I don't feel good, Joe. But I don't want to go without you. Look at me. Just put on Amanda Vaz dress and let's go. Put on I... Fashion Nova Barbie. No, because if I go on the red carpet, they're going to expect me to have something grand. On but I don't want to go either then. Joe, I'm sick. Look at me. But I, if we were invited as twin Barbies. I don't want to go with If we were right as twin babies, we don't even have on the same thing. Because we have our own identities. I don't want we're, to have an identity. We're already twins. I don't have an identity. I want to go as swimsuit Barbie and wear my cash swimsuit. I think this is going to be high cut. What do you think? Ali Bird, I kill you in the comments today. Turn it upside down and wear it front to back. Let me try on this cash some suits really quick wait you're not feeling well and you're going to try on a bikini huh what's wrong with that i don't know um jody please wear your hair my hair cannot be worn today this is not the option and she wears her hair all the time i wear my hair i wanted a change i wear my hair all the time i washed my hair and then i um we can see at the corner of this shot here checking out your punky i just wanted to make sure it wasn't too out of control but this is nice. So head on over to YouTube to watch Tracy checking out her punky. This is nice. Oh, I like it. Don't you think that's nice? Why do you take your wig off, Craig? We've been here trying on wigs. <laughs> what do you think this? What do you think about this bottom? Oh, that's nice. Let me see the back. Oh, I love the cut. Ooh, okay, girl. All right, all right. Jody, you need better synthetic wigs. This is what we're finding out now. This is the 
This is the thing. You have to give us the link to the synthetic wig. So Jody can no, but the girl. Okay, so I feel like if you know what you're doing, you can pluck a synthetic wig. These most of these wigs, even though they're synthetic, they can take heat. But I find that this one was like more like a Power Rangers wig, the pink one. So I mean, come on, oh, man. I finished all of the cheesies. <sighs> anyway, I had another conversation starter. Panty looks good. It looks nice, right? <clears throat> I can't wait to try the top too. And that's a pretty, that's gonna look really pretty by the ocean, that aquamarine color. Yeah, I find that look good in that color too. Good choice by Cash for I feel, me. I feel like I look like with these lashes and the pink, I feel like I look like a drag queen getting ready. You know, have <laughs> yes, a <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like at the theater, about to go on stage, yes. Mm -hmm. Jo XO XO ASR says Jody let my company send you something synthetic wigs. Okay. That's Alex. Send them now. She's actually okay. the wig plug in real life. You don't remember I asked about oh. this curly? It's Alex XO XO SMR's Alex. Remember we slept in the bed with her? All three oh, of us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alex. Alex. What do you call it? Alex? You think it's Harlix and Horlix? No, I don't mean Alex. 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 Um, Tracy, take two shots of white rum and get like a sleep. That should help you feel better. You know, I have to because God knows I can't I have so much work right, to do. I tell week. you what, I tell you what, let's compromise with each other. We'll go, we'll do the pink carpet and then we'll leave. Because I don't really want to watch a movie either because Sean has some stuff to do later. Yeah, as but well. I don't even have anything to wear. Go and I'm going as, to have to do my hair. Go, and I can't as, bother. go as Fashion Nova Barbie. This will look so good on Why you. Why do I always have to be the boring thing? Okay, fat one. Well, I don't want to give you money. Well, you can't go as Amanda Bass Barbie. This is not boring, Tracy. This was, everybody liked this one. This is this dress people are wearing now. Davina had on the black one to this. Oh, so you want me to be like with Davina? I can never compare to Davina. That's why I bought the pink one. Davina had on a different color. See, and you just do like the look, look at and then. Your boobs would come out now and be like, yeah, but hey. Let me see what my boobs Wow, 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 wow. Tracy, that's nice. That was what everybody was voting for me to wear. That's very nice. That's, I'm not sick anymore. I'm fun, you know. My boobs are boobing. Your boobs are boobing, Tracy. They're boobing, right? You have on a bra? Mm -hmm. Oh, Tracy. Oh. <laughs> I know, I went out the other day in something and I didn't have on a bra. It was just like, just a regular shirt. And Tiffany was like, oh, take the padding out of the shirt. And I was like, there's no padding. Oh, I love that like, for you. Me, no. Someone says, go with your sister. Once you get there, you will feel better. Um, anyway, Tracy, you look well nice today. You sound well. She's, I don't know what's wrong with her. My sister is not sistering. I'm always sistering. No, you're not. That's you have not to true. help me. You have to use this and Jody, I follow you. I have actually done that already, okay? <laughs> All right, let's not get into that. But I have sisted with you throughout the globe. Yeah. Across the globe. I just find that you're not the only person that's ever wiped my bottom. Your husband has. When I came home from the breakfast party and I collapsed on the toilet and he was like, I cannot leave you here. You don't remember that? Yes, I do. That was so bad. That was so bad. <coughs> that day was so bad. And Levi and Rem were like, what's wrong with mommy? Mm -hmm. And Scott's like, you just guys just stay down here. I know. I know. Jody, was that a joke? Tracy sounds like a dump truck upon a hillside. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I know. I'm just not, I'm not doing so hot today, guys. Sorry about that. We can dress up and feel better. It's just allergies. <laughs> it's not like you have food poisoning or Do you know I went to work this morning? That's good, excellent. You must, you see, you must carry on, you must trudge on. Let me see how much money I have in my bank account. Well, don't do that, then you'll definitely not want to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, let me see. Thank you. Oh, I still have my wake up. Alright, guys, um, we are heading. Where's the rest? How come you only have just a card? Where, so where's your more? Oh, okay, goods. All right, all right. That's not bad. Not That's bad. not bad. That's not bad. All right, so let's go and spend some at the premiere. I can buy a hot dog. <laughs> um, 
Coca Cola nachos. <laughs> no, I don't know if we can go that far. No. Buy me a good wig. No, I don't know if I can go a good wig. You have to choose. You have to choose either you're going to do a Coca Cola or a nachos. You can't get the, You can't get everything. Well, I'm going on. Commando so I don't want to drink too much Pepsi and then have to poop. You know? Jesus. All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. We are now going to get ready. We're going to go to the Barbie premiere. Come on, man. Joe, I really don't feel Well, if good. you don't go, I'm not going to go. See, Craigie Boo says I don't even sound good. He says it's fine. Like you don't have to trip. talk. Barbies don't speak. Have you ever heard a Barbie speak? What am I going to do with my hair? Just straight. Well, which way was it? <laughs> Just do the just blow the front and wear the bangs. Just wear the bangs and, the, long. and wear the body in your hair. Can you believe that my bangs have grown out this long? They were they've grown out like a full inch. That's so crazy. I don't think so. Just blow them out and just put them. Just I pass you know Tracy. Think so. I don't think I can grow a full inch by then. That's almost impossible. Just make it have like a body, you know. Blow dry it. How am I going to look at me? <laughs> blow dry and leave the rest with body and then you mm. have the pink dress come on please you mean put on all this friggin makeup i'm not going to go without you you want to hug me no man just give me a boom <laughs> fist i don't want to hug either come on man i'll take tissues for you in my in my <laughs> pink bag and i'll blow your nose so you have sand when you bat it when you bottle <laughs> <bottom laughs> <bag. laughs> my ross cloth Alright guys, that is it for today. Hopefully Tracy will um hopefully Tracy will come with me later. I just put on all of this friggin' pink makeup. And I combed out my pink wig. And you took out every other wig that you possibly <laughs> have to show um, us. Yes. Alright guys. And by the way, I want to let you know that there's more wigs in that box too. So. It's two boxes. Look up there. It's two boxes. Hair, wigs and weaves. Two boxes of hair wigs and weaves. Alright guys, that is it for today's show. We will see you next week when we are we'll be on we'll be on family vacation. We'll be doing our we'll be doing our photo shoot with Sorry. our cash um swimsuits that will be available at Swimfest. So um please be aware to double aware. click on our photos. Be aware. Be aware. Be hospital patient, Barbie. Oh, that's sexy. Oh. Ah. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for joining us this week. And we will see you next week when we will see you. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, Lady B. La Lady B Mixology. Because somebody who has sinusitis couldn't pick up the Lady B. Today's flavor is calorie-free, but drunk me. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. Can you look a sip now? No, you're sick. Don't get you sick. <laughs> sick. <laughs> thanks to Lady B. Thanks to Cash by Summer Jarrett. And thank you to... Boy, whenever these wigs. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>